This is the maxillary second premolar of a 46-year-old woman endodontically treated about 10 years before. The tooth is painful to chewing. Clinically, it is tender to vertical and lateral percussion. Radiographically, the filling is overextended and there is a periapical radiolucency. Retreatment is indicated. Good aperture is removed with ultrasonic tips. In the deepest portion, the obturation material is removed with small endodontic excavators. The fragment of a separated instrument, not clearly visible in the radiograph, is found in the apical third and removed. Minimal fragments of residual obturation material in the apical foramen are removed with micro-excavators. An attempt is made to remove part of the extruded material from the periapical area using the smallest size of the micro-excavator. Some inflammatory tissue is removed from the periapical region. The canal was medicated with calcium hydroxide and the access temporized. At the second session, a week later, the canal is reaccessed and revised, and a final cycle of ultrasonic agitation of the irrigant solution is performed. A radiograph is taken before root canal filling. As the foraminal opening is particularly wide, a resorbable hemocollagen sponge is placed in the foramen to act as a barrier. The canal is filled with a pre-mixed bioceramic material. No gutta percha points are inserted. The crown was restored with composite materials after 24 hours. A follow-up radiograph taken after 14 months shows healing of the preapical radiolucency with normal trabecular bone. The tooth is comfortable. <laughs>